Hey guys, it's Holly. So today I have the Craft City Build Your Own Bath Bomb Kit from Karina Garcia. Now, if you don't know Karina Garcia, she's basically the slime queen on YouTube, but she started her own company called Craft City, which is so cool. And she has her own slime kits, and now she has this bath bomb kit. There's also a lip kit, and she's probably gonna be coming out with a million more, but these are really cool. You can find them at Target, but I got sent this one from them, so I'm going to be doing it today, and I'm really excited because I love bath bombs. This is part of her sleepover collection, and it's says it makes up to three bath bomb creations um but I'm pretty sure it makes more than that I did watch her video of her making this which I really recommend if you're planning on getting this because I feel like she has a lot of like tips and tricks that maybe aren't in the instructions so I'm really excited so let's go ahead and get started so in the kit you get these six color tablets which is what we're going to use to color the bath bombs two scents we have lavender and jasmine Hidden treasures, which is really cute. They're like little plastic gems and jewels you can put in your bath bombs. This really cute little bear mold for making a bear-shaped bath bomb. Two circle molds, baking soda, citric acid, sea salt, cornstarch, a pink spoon and a white spoon, and then of course the instructions. So that's everything that comes in the kit and then stuff that you also need is water and then it says vegetable oil, but she mentioned in her video that you don't have to use vegetable oil. So I'm actually going to be using baby oil because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's more moisturizing. It says locks in 10 times more moisture. The first thing we need to add is our little color tablet. And I'm going to be using this blue one. And these look really a lot like sweet tart. Then we need a teaspoon of oil. Okay. And we also need a teaspoon of water. And I'm not actually using Fiji water, I'm just using the bottle. I mean, I'm fancy enough to use Fiji water in my bath bombs. The baby oil already smells really good to me. <laughs> okay, the tablet's already dissolving. We haven't added our scent yet. So I kind of want to do the jasmine one. Let's see. Oh, it smells really good. It says to do 20 to 40 drops of this, which seems like a lot, but I do want it to smell. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I did about 30 drops. I still smell the oil. So I'm going to stir this up and it says to set it aside to let it dissolve. So now in a separate bowl, we're going to mix up all of our dry ingredients, which are all of the powders. So we need three tablespoons of baking soda. Is this gonna get everywhere? Probably. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, so one, two, oh gosh. Okay, that's like three, probably a little bit more than we need, but hopefully that's okay. And then one and a half tablespoons of everything else. I'm actually gonna try to just stick my spoon in there. Is that easier? Okay, yeah, it's a little bit easier to just shovel it out. So we have one, and I guess I'm just gonna eyeball it because I don't know how much half a teaspoon is. Tablespoon. Maybe? I don't know if that's enough. Okay, sure. <laughs> we need one and a half of the sea salt. This is gonna make a lot. One and a half. Make it salty, salty. And then one and a half of the citric acid, which actually looks like sugar. Okay, so that's all of our dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna mix this all together. I feel like I'm baking. This looks like flour and sugar. And it has salt in it, so we're already halfway there. And it says, once the tablet is fully dissolved, we slowly pour the wet mixture into the bowl. And in her video, she was saying to add the wet just a little bit at a time, because you don't wanna over wet it. Our tablet is not at all dissolved. So what I'm gonna do that I anticipated doing is I'm gonna use the end of a knife and I'm just gonna try to crush it a little bit. And take out your anger on the color tablet. I just now realized that the spoons that they give you are for measuring, not just for stirring. Cause I was like, what's this pink one for? And the pink one is a tablespoon. And then this one is a teaspoon. So I didn't need to use my own measuring spoons. So yes. Didn't know that, but that's very good to know. We're almost there. There's just a few little tiny specks that aren't dissolved yet. 
I moved the camera so you can get kind of a little bit of a better view of what I'm doing, but the tablet and all of that is now dissolved. So I'm going to very slowly add it into my dry mixture. So I'm just gonna do like that much for now. It's a really, really pretty blue color. I'm gonna start with a spoon and then move to using my hands to mix it up, which I may have to do like now because it looks like it's not mixing super well with the spoon. I'm gonna put on gloves cause I'm dainty like that and I don't wanna get it all over my nails. So the texture we're going for is the texture of wet sand. And this isn't enough, so let me add a little bit more. Looks like it's starting to separate. It's making a really nice pastel blue color. Now it is starting to stick together. So I don't know if that means it's done now. I'm kind of worried that it's not quite wet enough. I might just add like a teensy bit more. It's kind of hard to know, but I think I need a little bit more. This is actually really relaxing to stir this for some reason. It's pretty much like baking, which I find relaxing. It smells really good. Do they make bath bombs that are scented like food? Because I kind of think it would be really cool if it was scented like cotton candy or something. Okay, so I ended up adding all of the liquid. So I hope that this is going to be good afterward. Because it still feels like it's not quite wet enough. But I could be wrong. I don't want to make it too wet though. So I think that this is probably good. When I press it in my hands, it kind of holds its shape. So I think we're good to go to put it in the mold. The instruction says for the sphere to pack each half of the mold so that they overflow and then place the hidden treasure on top of one half and then press the two sides together firmly. So I think I want to start with one of the balls and then do a bear. I'm going to pick out some little jewels to do. I think I want to do the three dark blue ones on the top, maybe. These are really, really pretty. I like these. Hidden treasures. I'm gonna put these in first, I guess. Or should I put a little bit in to like hold it in there? Fill it till it overflows. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. Okay. Are we gonna have enough to do two with this batch or am I gonna have to make more? I don't know. Okay, I think that's overflowing enough. So let's attempt to stick these together. I'm really scared. Um, one, two, three, go. Um, um, I don't know why I'm having a hard time closing it. I don't feel like I did that good at all. Is it not wet enough? I thought it was wet enough. Okay, let me try this again. I'm gonna pack it in first and then overflow it. Cause I feel like it's not packing enough on its own. Okay, so I packed in a lot and now I'm gonna overflow it. and see if that helps it. Okay, I feel like that went a lot better this time. So I recommend packing it in as much as you can and then overflowing it. Don't just loosely pack it in because I feel like that didn't work as well. Okay, so I'm gonna let this one sit. You can't even see my jewels, that's okay. I'm gonna let this sit for 10 to 12 minutes and then gently remove it to let it dry outside of the mold. I'm gonna try to make the bare one with what's left. I don't know if we have enough. I'm gonna pack it in. So just with what the instructions told me to do, I was only able to make the one sphere bath bomb and then this is only filling up half of the bare mold. So I don't know if that was supposed to be making only one at a time or if it was supposed to make two, but I just didn't have enough for two. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit more mix and see what I can do. Okay, I'm going to try to get these out so 
so that I can air dry. So. Here's our little bear. Oh no, he cracked already. Gently. Well, that didn't work. Okay, well that's intact. So I guess I'll just leave this to dry. And then that just crumbled into a million pieces. Well, let's see if this one's gonna come out. Cause I really want this one to work. Okay. I thought I put in enough for it to stay together. And now it's like already too dry. Like I feel like I follow the instructions pretty closely. So I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know if it wasn't wet enough. I'm really sad that it didn't come all out in one piece. Cause it definitely says to take it, oh my gosh. It definitely says to take it out of the mold. Like it says, let it sit for 10 to 12 minutes and then gently remove it one half at a time and then let it sit for two hours. So I feel like I did that. So I don't know if it's just user error. I don't know, I'm really sad. So off camera, I made a rainbow bath bomb and it took a really long time and I'll be even more sad if this one doesn't come out of the mold. So I'm, I'm really scared right now, but I'm gonna try to take this out gen as gently as humanly possible. Let me just like tap on it it looks like it's already not gonna work okay I I really don't know maybe I should have just let it dry overnight in the mold I really just want to get out one half without it breaking <sighs> five hours later so after trying to do this for several hours I managed to get one complete bath bomb and it was supposed to be rainbow with the layers, but it fell apart. So I crushed it up and tried to put it back in the mold. And this is what came out. And I actually am really happy with it. I think it looks very like Fruity Pebbles-ish. And I'm really, really glad that I at least got one full bath bomb completed. And then this is what remains of the bare one and the bottom fell off, but at least I have the little head. So I'm a little bit disappointed, or I'm a lot disappointed that I couldn't get any other bath bombs to come out of the mold. But let's go ahead and put these in the bath. Okay, here we go. I'm almost like really sad to put this in because it took so long to make it, but here we go. Ooh. It's definitely fizzing really good. It smells really good too. I really like the fragrances. Ooh, it looks really cool. You can see all the different colors. So, final thoughts. Overall, I think the kit is really good. So I do give this kit a thumbs up just straight away. Um, I think that everything that comes in the kit is really well labeled. I think that the instructions are really good and I like that they have pictures on it and it's pretty easy to follow. There was nothing that I was super confused about or had issues with. All that said, this kit is really hard to do <laughs> and I'm an adult, so I can't imagine a bunch of kids doing this at a slumber party. Like I just don't really see that happening. Maybe older kids. It says ages eight and up and I just don't see an eight year old being able to do this on their own. The mold is really hard to close and maybe it was just me. Maybe this is all completely user error. It's really hard to know when the mixture is the correct texture because she said in the video that it's supposed to be the texture of wet sand but there's a lot of different types of wet sand. Like there's wetter sand and less wet sand. And I kind of had a mixture of both of those things. And I feel like it's just really hard to get it right. And then to know when you're supposed to take it out of the mold. Like I follow the instructions, which literally says 10 to 12 minutes before you take it out. And that didn't work for me like at all. So, and I feel like it just varies on how wet it is. There's a lot of variables. There's a lot of room for user error, which I think is why I really like this kit, but just know going into it that you're probably gonna struggle a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit 
to get it right. But when you do get it right, the bath bomb is really nice and it works really well and it's really fun to do. So overall, I give this kit a thumbs up with a caveat that this is probably for the older crowd than the younger crowd. And you also have to be very, very patient, which I am not. And I don't imagine a bunch of girls at a slumber party are going to want to wait for their bath bombs to come out of the mold. So also just be aware of that because it does take time. It is messy. So account for that. You are dealing with a ton of powdery stuff that gets everywhere so just take that into account but yes a big thank you to Karina's team for sending this to me I really loved doing it even though it was a little bit frustrating at times I was really really happy with the bath bomb that I actually ended up making let me know down below in the comments what you think about this kit are you thinking about getting it have you already tried it and what do you think about it I would love to know thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye